Everyone and welcome. So I'm going to make a series right here that's about Angular and Nest.js and, and in this case also Socket.io and I'm going to just try and expand it in different directions but we're going to start out with just making a simple chat app in this application right here and um, the chat app is going to be something like the demo that's on Socket.io uh, where we're going to be able to create a name like let's say I was John right here and then with John I can start typing a, a message to the other people in the forum. So let's say Juge, I don't know what that is but John can then say Duke and everybody can reply and you can see when they're typing and stuff like that. So we're going to try and make something similar as a web application right here. What we need in order to get started with Nest.js. Well, let's have a look right here at the documentation. It seems that what we're going to need is Node.js. Now, what is Node.js? Well, if you read this, it says Node.js is a JavaScript runtime. So it's pretty much just a JavaScript run runtime that executes our JavaScript code locally which makes it into pretty much a server, right? So we need this guy and you have to go and get it. Uh, I'll take the LTS because the LTS is is, per, is the one that's recommended for most users. This has the latest features, but also the latest box if they're not fixed yet. So go for this one. And again, you can just go and download it. There's plenty of guides out there on how to install Node.js on your machine, both Windows and Mac. So just go and get that before you continue. Pause the video, grab it, come back. We'll go back to this guy. Now that we have Node.js available, we'll go into the installation of Actual Nest later. But let's have a look at what we need for Angular to kind of get this started. Well, I'll go to Angular I.O. I'll go to Get Started. And here on the Get Started guide, it actually says when I scroll down, all you need is Node.js. We just installed that. So we are done with Angular part as well. And we are pretty much ready to get started. But in order to write code, we also need to kind of go somewhere and write the code. Now you could use Notepad or something, but luckily people have decided to create something called IDEs instead. Um, so we're going to try and use those instead. And right now I have two that I work with when we're talking web development. One is WebStorm. Now it costs money if you're not a student. If you are a student, you can get it for free, but you have a 30 day free trial. So you can just do and play around with it if you want to. But if you're not into using this guy, then you can go and get Visual Studio Code. Now you can get pretty much the same things from Visual Studio Code, but it's more you have to manage it yourself, right? You have to go and get some packages, you have to go and get some plugins, and then you can get to the same point. Now I know a lot of the developers who love this. It's not a bad one to choose. You can go and get it if you want to. And then next lesson, we'll get started with creating our beautiful new uh, web app right here, where we can have some chat functionality. See you next time. Bye bye.